Hey guys, Warchild V1 here with some Bloodborne. It has been so long since I've played this game. In fact, I don't even remember the last time I played this game. But I love all the games, you know, that FromSoft makes that's in this whole genre of, you know, uh, melee and all that crap. I love their games. I love their RPGs. I've never gotten into some of their games like Arm Armored Core, stuff like that, but this game is right down my alley. So I'm using a whole new recording setup here. I have a new HD PVR recording. This game plays straight to a flash drive. The only downer is that my audio track for the game and audio track for my volume are stuck on the same track. So I can't adjust my voice volume afterwards and stuff. So I'm hoping that I have the levels set up correctly here. I guess we're just going to find out, right? If it's too bad, of course, I'm just going to delete it and you will never see this. Ha 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 ha! So I don't have any main plan other than I would love to play and beat the full story of the game as well as the DLC. I have never completed the DLC. So we're going to have some fun here. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Pale blood. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. that contract though all right um i don't know for the first time ever i'm just gonna do adriana i'm gonna do a female and that's not like me either that's the crazy thing i usually just make male characters for everything but i'm gonna make a female character for this milk toast I don't have any special build in mind. All average attributes. The thing is, I don't remember what requires what and this and that. Um, I'm going to go with professional for skill. I'm going to start off with maybe the, uh, the cane. Alright guys, well this is about it with my character. Let's go ahead and start it off. She's nothing special. It's not like I'm going to stare at her too much. She's always going to be wearing clothes, so yeah. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've had a blood infusion with some pretty weird blood, I'd say. And now we're starting to see this place for what it really is, I think. Gonna have some nightmares. All that creepy stuff. Hey, little guys. They're my little cute friends. Ah, you found yourself a hunter.
And yes, I am playing online, so we will see ghosts of other people and notes and all sorts of cool stuff. It's been so long since I've played this. But I have played plenty of Dark Souls since, so... I pretty much know the buttons. Okay, right, right, right. The two-handed part was... I was pressing triangle for that. Not quite. There we go. Stick your hand up his butt. See what it smells like afterwards. Stinks pretty bad. I don't really recommend that you stick your hand up their butts very often, but but if that's the only way that you're gonna live, then you know you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. Must respect the blood that waits ahead, it said. All right, so now we got some healing items. I just have to remember that triangle is actually heal now. So you're actually supposed to die back there, but you just don't have to. Basically, if I could just make it to the first checkpoint, I like this top hat. You know, you can actually move this top hat around. Yeah. So I will most likely be playing like a noob. Don't expect me to do that great. I haven't played this in forever. I know my way around a little bit, but not that much. I don't plan on healing yet and wasting my heals. No, oh, nice. A hunter is only a hunter in a dream. And this is the hunter's dream. Oh man, I'm excited. It's been so long. I love this whole game, this whole series. Right here is where we choose our first weapon. Oh, and it's such a hard choice because I love the saw cleaver, I love the hunter axe, and I love the threaded cane. Um, because I started with so much skill, I'm going to go ahead and do a threaded cane. That was kind of in my plans to begin with, I guess. Um, blunder, bus, or pistol? I'm gonna go with pistol. We got a notebook. So let's go ahead and equip some weapons. Alright. So we got our whip cane. Alright. So right now, I think, I'm guessing my only choice is just to head out of here, right? First floor sick room. Alright. So I'm really hoping that my volume levels aren't screwed up compared to the game's volume. Is this guy here? Nah, he's gone. I guess once you kill him the first time, he's gone for good. Hear the big boy walking around over there. Alright, man. You thought you were big and bad a minute ago. Let's see how big and bad you really are. Give me my soul echoes. My soul echoes. My blood echoes back. 
Oh, a lever. View note, uh, that was fine. So from what I remember, um, this weapon counts as serrated when you turn it into a whip. Serrated weapons work better against beasts. They, they deal a little bit of extra damage. That's why the saw cleaver is so good. That's why the saw cleaver is so good right away. I'm not sure if you can actually see... That must be the bridge. If you can actually see the... Uh, the beast that did the howl just now. What is it, the cleric beast? So now we can return to the hunter's dream, but we're not going to yet. Oh, you must be a hunter. And not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to, but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this town is cursed. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. He's about right. Pale blood, hmm. But if it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration and all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the he and deep within Cathedral Ward is the old grand cat the birthplace of the healing. <laughs> Alright, that's actually where I plan Yarnum, on going. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. The hunt is on tonight. Alright, so that unlocks with a shortcut. We have lit the lantern. Man, I am I am actually really excited to be playing this. That was total accident. Cuz that's what I meant to do. let them continue on with their little pilgrimage. A fairly useless shortcut, I guess. I don't believe there's anything that great about going over here. He doesn't give you anything real good. I can't think of any. I don't remember what you get over there. Maybe a blood gem. If so, I can't even use them yet, so... So, yeah. Man, I'm gonna have to re-remember this game and get used to the, the healing and all that. After playing all the Dark Souls 3 I've been playing. They did change up the buttons a little bit for this one. You that outsider? Well, sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you. Trot along, will ya? Sure will, buddy. Sure will. Nobody wants to be nice to me on the night of the hunt. Oh shit! Oh 
Oh shit! I'm in trouble. My god, gotta fight the whole city right now. I don't remember that. <laughs> I truly don't remember that. I remember this guy. I remember jumping the first time he came at me. Alright, first weapon upgrade. And then this guy. I remember jumping at him the first time. Calling me a cursed beast. Look at you guys. Damn hypocrites. Damn it. They all aggro on me now. That's... They didn't used to aggro on you, I don't think. So one of my goals for this playthrough is I would love to be able to get a uh, DLC weapon and use it as one of my primaries eventually. Since I've never completed the DLC, I've never gotten all the DLC weapons. I mean, there's a lot to this game that I've missed. Um, I don't, I don't even remember why I never completed the DLC. I've actually had someone ask me to, and. I had already messed up the playthrough I was doing. At one point I was uploading the DLC. Or no, 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 I was streaming it. But I messed that up because I started playing it without recording and I messed up that whole session. It got to where there was no point in uploading it because I had already not recorded a lot. Alright, um, even though I've killed like over half the guys. I'm just gonna book it. Uh, makes life easier here. Just book it. Zigzag it. say anyone that follows you all the way over here you could just take out but I believe this is a weapon upgrade again yes I need to get all the bloodstone charts I can off the bat um I think this door is useless I don't reckon you're from around here well <laughs> stuck outside on a night of the hunt I'll be poor poor <laughs> It takes you down by the dog cages, which I will need to do. I'm not sure if that's what I need to do right now. It's been so long, I don't remember what it is I'm supposed to... Which direction to go or anything. So, some of this almost feels blind, even though I kind of know what's around the corner. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. It's been so long. I sucked at that. That was really bad. I keep doing that because of Dark Souls. Um, Alright, so we got a torch. really good for if you plan on catching someone on fire. I'm gonna go this way but I don't remember what the point of this direction is. I don't remember a dog on top of the cage. That was a little dog glitch there I think. Alright, I 
think that's all with the dogs. Don't remember what's this way. Oh, okay, I kind of know where I'm at, kind of. Shit, not that way. I'm working on getting to a shortcut here. Hey, buddy. It is a damn curse, you're right. Alright. Another bloodstone shard and a shortcut. Anything else to say? Across the valley to the east of Yarnum, you'll find the Cathedral Ward. Deep within lies the old main. I haven't heard that's your best bet. <coughs> thank you, thank you. I have no insight yet, so returning to the Hunter's Dream is kind of pointless. But, here, hold on. That was such a waste of a healing item, my god. Alright, I only came back because I figured there's probably a safe place to go ahead and end this uh, playthrough. I don't remember how to gesture. Aha. Yes. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. I hope you guys are enjoying it and I really hope that I got my audio volumes correct. So please comment, like, and sub if you haven't and let me know if there's anything, any special weapon you think I need to use or anything from the DLC. I, uh... I don't even know. It's been so long since I've played this and I've never gotten all the DLC weapons. One I would love to try is the, the bow uh, curve sword, I believe it is. I don't know for sure, whatever. But yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. Should, uh, should this be a playthrough that I do for you guys or what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.